Okay, so now we're going to take a look at some acoustic guitars. Um, so there's that lovely little slot headstock model down there in three different finishes. Yeah, this is the first ever limited acoustic guitar series that Eastman has uh, brought out. 130 pieces of each are made. Uh, it's a trio. This is the, uh, the E100 Limited. Only 65 will be available in Europe. Uh, you wouldn't believe the uh, the retail on this. That's just normally I'm never mention a lot of pricing because I think price is doesn't matter. I mean, it's about the instrument. But this is an Adirondack all solid top, solid belly back and side, slotted headstock. It's got a Fishman Sony Tone pickup, ebony bridge, ebony fingerboard, 799 pounds retail in the shop. Wow, yes, great. this is absolutely true. 899 euros. That's great. We have a a double OSS sloped shoulder model. Yeah, this is beautiful, this top. This is the uh, our, our uh, Mandolin 300 Classic Series color. And we just added it again. Eddie Rondek top, solid, solid Sapelli. It's got the ebony, all the same stuff. This one, more uh, traditional, accurate, uh, accurate um, not a slotted headstock, but a regular, with vintage tuners, of course. So it, uh, it yeah, everything you could want. And of course, we needed a little blues machine as well. So this is the E100P, our parlor. Mahogany, ebony, everything's there. Fishman Sony Tone, and they all retail at 799. I don't think there is any brand in the world that offers an Eddie Rondek top guitar at that price point. Cool. That, that thing looks beautiful as well. That's really, really cool. Sometimes we are so fortunate that we, we get these. We just got a hold of a stash of really small Adirondack tops. And, 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 and I was lucky enough to, to, think of, to think of a guitar to fit the size. So this is it. Excellent. So uh, tell us about these uh, gypsy jazz guitars. Yeah, this is a first for, uh, for Eastman. It's uh, brand new uh, in Beijing in our workshop. Uh, we have a guy working who is a, a wonderful uh, gypsy jazz player, internationally renowned. He plays the Hot Club de Beijing. His name is Doug Martin. He's a, an American guitar player, uh, owns several old Selmers, and he's been working on this project for more than two years because he wanted them to be right. And here they are, the first Eastman gypsy jazz instruments. Uh, oval hole, bouche O, as the French say. We created the bridge ourselves. And we tried to do everything when it came to, bra to bracing, to sound, to the curving on the, on the back. Everything is exactly as the original ones uh, were made. And we, again, we didn't cut any corners. It's in an open pore nitro finish. And it's, uh, yeah, I think it's one of the projects that we were really proud of because Eastman is a company. We offer so many, we offer blue glass mandolins to, to solid body guitars, but now, also the Gypsy Jazz, which is a... So this is the mandolin finish again? This is again that mandolin finish, and it works so well on a guitar, because it immediately yeah, it looks like, a, like an older instrument. Uh, our American president, Saul Friedgood, was in France, and he saw a picture of an old Selmer, and he sent it, and it's exactly that look. It's really interesting, uh, the, the details, the sort of Art Deco logo and the, the tailpiece, they look great, they're really cool. Yeah, it's always, especially these guitars, the, the players, that's the community, that's very strict. If the guitar ain't good, you're going nowhere. So it had to be exactly right. So it took uh, Doug Martin two years to finish this project, but it, it has been finished the right way. Brilliant. Okay, so finally some more acoustics then. So what have we got? Yeah, well, when it comes to flat tops, we have changed a lot. But the most uh, yeah, obvious thing we changed is we added the pick guards. And the pig guard is, I always feel, a pig guard is adding so much uh, yeah, attitude to a guitar. Uh, we never had the pig guards, and a good friend of ours said, please start adding them, pre-apply them, because if people buy the wrong pig guard, apply it the wrong way, the guitar will look ridiculous. So that was a good point that we never thought of. Uh, so that one had to find the right material, and that's, it's all about the right material. There is. If you have a, a cheap looking uh, like like photocopy, it looks horrible. But we managed to find, I think, incredible material. Uh, of course, tortoise looking, and it's got that really, really good look 
that you want to have on a dreadnought like this. This is a new dreadnought that we are introducing. This one will retail all solid, 499. It's got a gloss top, Sitka spruce, ebony fingerboard and bridge, no sighties problems. Vintage style tuners. And a Solis pellet back inside. This instrument really, really is, I think there's not a second in the world that, that sounds like it. It's got all the sound you need for Dreadnought. We have them in OMs, obviously. And then on our uh, thousand uh, pound and up instruments, we have a different material. Uh, a different uh, kind of material that actually uh, adds more chic to the guitar. It's the same kind of material that brands like Santa Cruz and Collings are using. Okay. Yeah, we, uh, so is it a cellulose? It's a cellulose that we buy at Del Mar. Uh, Del Mar is supplying all these. So yeah, it took us a long while and it's, it's, I have to say it's not a very a cheap material to buy. So you have to really dig in deep to your pockets and then you can make a lot of them and you can make it work. So extremely flammable as well. <laughs> that's extremely flammable. Keep away from the kids and fire. And of course, with our um, sloped shoulder models, um, it's obvious we needed to add the fire stripe. Uh, this is made by Mario Prul in Canada. And the great thing about these pig guards is that this guy, this brilliant guy, I, 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 I've never met him, but I picture him living alone in the woods in Eulers, next to Bonnie Fair. And then, <laughs> and he's, he's making these and he's giving his pig guards a serial number. Wow. <laughs> he's got it. Must be a first. That, that I don't think anyone does it, but it immediately, like for instance our award-winning guitar, which we are very proud of, the 10 ssv now got the fire stripe, standard applied, it adds, yeah, a well, lot. Having, having had the, the previous version in the magazine without yeah. the pit guard, I really think that elevates it visually, it just looks so cool. It's, it's great. Yeah, it's, it's another, especially also because the, uh, the varnish is so vulnerable that this will really prolong the life of these instruments. And then, of course, we do not only do traditional dreadnoughts, OMs, stuff like that. We also do a more modern Grand Auditorium cutaway pickup. And we divided the two series. So the traditional series only has the OM, the traditional slope shoulders, the dreadnought. And then the AC series are the Grand Auditorium cutaway pickups. A sum back on that. Brand new solid Ovenco. Beautiful wood. Uh, it used to be an instrument with a, with a laminated rosewood back inside and we, need, we were able to exchange it for all solid Ovenkol. Again, the gloss top and I'm really proud on our own shape uh, because the shape of a pig guard when it comes to a dreadnought or an OM it's standard. But with the Grand Auditorium you are able to, uh, yeah, to create a little of your own signature. I think it looks very natural. All the AC series, all the traditionals, everything is all solid. We don't have a, a, a solid top only guitar. Everything is all solid. So whether it's solid Sapelli, specifically with the Sapelli, I really like the gloss top because it makes the, the, the grain in the wood come out like, like, yeah, like no other. So lots of choices. Uh, so there's a lot of choice for 2018. <laughs> We're, it's just, man, 2018, it will be our year. Great. Thanks very much, Papan. Thank Cheers. You.